Stephen Jimmy. Thanks, sir. Tony Ankers from Davenport, Florida. Fishing on the Clanger side. One for Tony. Fish weighs two pound, four ounce. Thank you, Tony. Jamie Fowler. Hey everybody, so that is the extent of the video footage I got at Sandy Cooper this week. Um, I, you know, I got a few little other things that's not worth putting to, on video. But I didn't, you know, I didn't end up wearing my camera um, day one. Uh, you know, the weather was pretty rough. It was pouring down rain in early in the morning. Um, the wind was awful. The lake was awful. We had... 20 to 25 mile an hour winds going all day long and it got stronger as the day went on and everybody got beat up um we've you know but my boater had uh his trolling motor broke the 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 shock on it broke and snapped f just from you know running the boat through the waves um you know i had a buddy whose boat um he all of his all of his mounts for his electronics came undone Another boater's transom broke, you know, it, it pretty much it for him. It ruined his boat. His transom broke because the, you know, it was so rough. Uh, multiple people broke the trolling motors, broke windshields, different things like that. Um, it, it was just a rough day. Um, so rough that they ended up canceling days two and three. Um, and looking back, they probably should have postponed the whole thing. You know, I think, um, you know, I like major league fishing a lot, but I think they messed up on this one. I think they should have canceled or postponed the whole thing. Um, because he, like I said, even day one was really bad. Um, other than that, I mean, it was, a, it was a good experience for me. I, you know, I really enjoyed being there and, you know, walking across the stage. I ended up only catching one fish. Um, my boater only caught one fish. Um, we went to a spot where all week long they had been killing them. Uh, because there'd been a shad spawn going on and um, that day, you know, it rained so heavy overnight and all morning long, it just washed them out. I mean, there was nothing there. Uh, he caught his and I caught mine in pretty much the same spot, right in some cypress trees. Um, so I finished 107th out of, uh, I think it ended up being 212 or 213 boaters so, and, and co-anglers. So it was, you know, you know, I'm not thrilled with it, but I'm happy, you know, um, that I was able to do it. And, you know, I, I finished in 50, 50 percent, 50th percentile. Um, not much to talk about other than that. It was just all around, you know, there were good moments. I had fun hanging out with my buddy, Kurt, and, um, you know, we, we had a, a good practice day. That was the calmest day of the week was the day before the tournament started was uh the day i practiced with kurt and we didn't catch anything he caught a striper and i i caught a pickerel and he caught a pickerel that was it it was the only bites we had um i did have a bite on a on a a swim jig but it was just a um you know something hit it who knows what it what it was but other than those few moments it the the trip all around was just not good um including all the way home. I ended up with a flat tire on 95 in Georgia. And, you know, I sat in major traffic coming back, you know, a six hour ride, you know, ended up taking me a little over eight hours to get home. So it was just, it was a rough trip. Um, you know, I, I'm not sure what's going to happen in the future. If I, you know, hopefully next year I might do one. I, I don't know. I might even just do a BFL or just do marshalling again because it's a lot of money. I mean, it, it costs me a lot of money to go do that. Not just the entry fees, but gas and, and lodging and food and, and everything. And, um, you know, it's just, you gotta be, you gotta be willing to put it out, put the money out to, to, to be able to do these things. I know, you know, these guys, the boaters, especially, that's why, I, you know, I, I told my boater first thing, you know, I'm here to have fun, yes, and to try and catch fish, but 
he's got a lot of money invested in that. Not just in the tournament itself, but in his boat and um, his lodging. You know, it's probably close to four grand it costs them per tournament just to, to fish the tournament. You know, and that's that's a lot of money to to a lot of people. Um, but um, you know, I, I you know I just wish I wish Major League Fishing probably would have should have postponed this. It, that's just my opinion, and I'm sure some other people feel the same way. But uh, you know, it's still a great experience if you've got the money, um, and and, and you want to do it, do it. I mean, there's you know. The Toyota series is, it's a mixture of, of big time pros and guys like me. Um, you know, Jordan Lee fishes it. Um, Mike Sermon, who I fished with as a marshal on the Toyota series, he fishes it. There's, there's a lot of other guys that, that are the big time pros that fish the Toyota series as well. So, um, that's my experience guys. I, you know, not much to talk about. Didn't catch but one, but, you know, it was two pounds, four ounce. Um, that's it. So hopefully I got some, I got some stuff coming up that I'm kind of excited about that, uh, you know, I'll, I'll hopefully be able to put some footage together for you and, um, you know, I'll go fishing this weekend in my normal lake and hopefully we can get some footage there and, and until then we'll see you guys then and go get them.